Hi, I'm Pat Warren. I'm in the Black Poplar Memorial Grove at Arundel Wetland Centre in front of the Wetlands Discovery Boat Safari. And this is Arundel Wildlife Weekly. As you can see around me, autumn's really starting to take hold here with the hangar changing and all of the trees starting to lose their leaves. Migrants move towards Africa and then we're starting to get our winter residents in like teal and water rail and snipe. Sightings becoming a lot more common. One of the things that really shows it's autumn is that you can see the berries everywhere and all the, the fruits of the hedgerow, so to speak. Uh, recently we had a bushcraft expert and foraging fiend, Jonathan Hewitt from Walk With Trees In to teach us foraging and fire lighting in a workshop. I spoke with Jonathan and he gave us a rundown on what else you can find to eat in the hedgerows besides blackberries. Well blackberries are fantastic, they're very tasty, but things like elderberries, rose hips and hawthorn are also really rich in vitamin C and if you make a syrup from them you can add the blackberries as well. As long as you're not trespassing you can pick from public parts, but it's best not to pick the, the food or the wild plants by junctions and things because it may have been scented by different wild or domesticated animals. When you're foraging the most important thing is if you do not know what the plant is 100% then you really must just leave it alone. There are so many different species and just get to know the plants that you want to use 100% and then it's perfectly safe but otherwise leave well, well alone. Next year we're offering three courses, two in June and one in early July. The first of them will be to do with foraging and making medicine, so you'll be able to put a wild food medicine kit together. Um, the second one we're going to be looking at fire lighting, so how to make fire from, from wood basically and from sparks as well as friction. And then finally we're going to be doing some wood carving, spoons, spatulas and making string from nettles. So by the end of the three courses you'll have a real good basic knowledge of, of working in woods and enjoying the woods around you and the plants. As Jonathan says, there's lots you can find to eat in the hedgerows in the countryside. The only thing we ask when our visitors come here that they don't pick any of the blackberries, rose hips or anything else they might see in the hedgerows because we like to save those for the wildlife. If you'd like to sign up for any of the courses that Jonathan mentioned, just visit the website and there's more information there and just call us here at the centre. I know we've been going on and on about it, but the kingfishers are showing really, really well. One of our regulars, Donald, was in the other day and he had four sightings in the one day. They've been showing really great from the Ramsar and the San Martin hides, so you really need to try to get down to see them. From the hides, you can really see that teal numbers are increasing. You can see things like widgeon also and more, uh, more gadwall, uh, more shoveler, uh, more tufties all coming in the reserve for the winter. If you want to find out more about what's wild this week at Arundel Wetland Centre, why don't visit our website to the wildlife sightings page and where you can even maybe watch this video. Um, find us on Facebook and follow us there or follow us on Twitter. Hi, I'm Pat Warren. I'm in the... <laughs> can I remember the name of this place? Focus.